What's up, guys? Woo! Hey, would you guys just go ahead and give a hand for all of those speakers that have come up and taken time? Yeah! Right. Again, hey, my name is Lucas. Uh, I'm 13. I'm going to be posting about forgiveness today. Funny story. All of we like, we didn't, a lot of us didn't know what we were preaching about. Like, we knew, like, we were preaching about forgiveness. Uh, but we didn't know who was preaching and stuff. And what's funny is a lot of our messages go hand in hand. And we just thought it was really funny. I just want to share that with y'all. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, if you guys aren't taking notes, I'm going to title this Forgiveness 101. And go ahead and just write this down. A fifth, wow. the portal to unforgiveness. What? I feel like a lot of times, especially in this generation, we take offense to so much. Like, yeah. one person could post something and thousands of people could take offense to it. Or another what? person could post something and thousands of people could put, take offense to it. And what's really cool about this is we have the ability to either keep that offense with us and carry it with us for the rest of our lives. Yeah. We have the opportunity to give it to God and say, you know what, I don't want this. What? What? Um, your unforgiveness will keep you back from your purpose. Okay. Uh, funny story. I went to go write this uh, message about two weeks ago. And I'm sitting in my room and I literally cannot write this. For about two hours, I can't write anything. And so I pray, pray to God and say, God, why can't I write this? And he reveals to me and says, you haven't forgiven someone. And I say, okay, God, well, who have I not forgiven yet? And as soon as I say that, a message comes from my phone and her name looks like, all right, see the name. And so I'm like, okay, God, but why should I forgive them? They've done this kind of, like, this left me in, like, a state after this, like, this relationship. It left me in a state of just, like, sadness. Why should I forgive them? So that's the, that, he said, that's the exact reason why you should forgive them. Ooh. See, Ooh. as soon as I had sent a message to them saying, like, as soon as it said delivered, I got my deliverance. And what I realized is that what? forgiveness brings yeah. deliverance. Yeah. Deliverance, yeah. And since offense can be the portal to unforgiveness, we have the choice to pick it up or place Come it down. On. And God values the pot and heart with a posture of forgiveness rather than the words of your hand. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You see, God forgives us, God forgives us with like love and compassion. And I have a question. If God can forgive, why can't you? Ooh. Let's look at 1 Peter 5, 7. I'm going to read in the Amplified Version. It says, casting all your cares, all your anxieties, all your worries, all, yeah. all your concerns once and for all on him. For he cares about you with his deepest affection and he watches over you very Go ahead. carefully. Go ahead. See, offense becomes a seat to unforgiveness and unforgiveness becomes a throne to anger and hatred. Yeah! yeah. But, but something like, well, I have so much hatred towards that person. Give it to God. Cast it to God. Well, they hurt me this way. They're standing in the back. Give it to God. Cast it on to God. Yeah. 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 You see, we don't deserve Jesus' forgiveness. Yet he still freely forgives us. It's so sweet. Now, you see, I've had a, I have a friend that has, I have, I have actually have like a few friends that have actually hurt themselves. And once they tell me this, I'm thinking to myself, well, maybe, like they told me that they have physically hurt themselves. And I'm thinking, well, maybe if I was there now. Maybe if I had said something, I could have stopped them from doing this. And God, yeah. and through this, God revealed to me two things about forgiveness. Ooh, we don't, there's two things we don't forgive. Ooh. The first thing we don't forgive is ourselves. Mm, wow. You see, <laughs> if I'm being honest, the things that my friends did to them, I blame myself for. Go ahead. Because I would say, oh, well, maybe if I was there enough, maybe if I had handled the situation differently, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have ended how it did. But God says to cast all your cares, all your worries, oh my God. all your anxieties. And once I realized that I can cast my cares on him, it left. Ooh. And look, God was also telling me this. It's not your fault. We have yeah. to stop blaming ourselves for things that we were never supposed to stop in the first place. Go ahead. Go ahead. And, if God, and I realized if God can forgive me, why can't I forgive myself? Come on. My second thing we don't forgive is others. We say that, oh, well, they abused me. Or they hurt me so bad I don't want to forgive them. Or maybe they touched you inappropriately. Ooh. See, oh, that's, maybe, maybe that's a word. Say, maybe if I had had the chance to back down. Like, maybe if I had backed down when I had a chance. And we start blaming, we start, we start blaming others. And we start not forgiving others. 
And you see, but Jesus really forgives us with love and compassion. And Jesus doesn't hold anything towards you. Once you say, he, once you ask for forgiveness, he forgives you. He's not going to yeah. hold anything towards you. Yeah. And now look, when we go to forgive, you need to actually forgive. You can't say you're going to forgive and never put action towards it. You see, when you say you're going to forgive someone, you have to put action towards it. You have to work to forgive them. Yeah. Now look. Forgiveness may sound nice, this may sound cute, but without any action put towards it, it's just a concept. It's just a sin. And so I want you, I want to leave you with this and I'm gonna pray. What unforgiveness is holding you back from your purpose? Ooh. Back your purpose? Ooh. Back close your eyes with me, I'm gonna pray and we'll go for this later. Dear God, I thank you for this day. Lord, I thank you for just everything you blessed us with. Lord, we don't deserve your forgiveness, yet you still forgive us, forgive us every single day. Lord, I pray that if anyone is holding on to any forgiveness, that you just help us let go. Help us cast it on you, Lord. Lord, just guide us and teach us everything we do, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.